Championship coming up. And it's lights out. And Mark Finati got away pretty well. And see Gabriel Rodriguez coming into turn one was Gabriel Rodriguez. But it's Finati who got the half shot. Yeah, there was a side bar. Antonelli and Rossi sandwiched there as they swing through. Magnus and Beckett for the first time. Finati so exactly where he wanted to be. In the background there, what's up to McPhee? I saw on the run up to Col corner weren't they Rodrigo and Fanati but Fanati left his break in that a little bit later and the outside wow. oh, and that was tight Rodrigo and Rossi and Rodrigo got him stopped up into third place down into Stowe there's Dennis Foggia he's getting his gloves ready there's Suzuki these are the three leaders though Romano Fanati comes around to the start finish to complete the second lap leading from Antonio Andrea Mino who puts in the fast lap of the race the rider in front so if he had a done it would have been disaster for him potentially all here a few moments ago, Binder right now on the tail of Ricardo Rossi in the battle for fourth. And you can see just before Acosta and Garcia are fighting in the top six. As Sonju here thinks about a move up the inside of Suzuki. How on earth did they avoid? He just can't break Ali at all, can he? he? Can't get away from his uh, fellow attack. the line gets around 800. Super squabble. at the start of this weekend this guy has been codgy Ricardo Rossi's just being dropped a bit from this group now as well struggling to keep pace and so I'm very far just remarking the lack of strength that won't be anywhere in the forefront of Nicola Andelli's mind he's just trying to work out a plan a strategy of keeping on par with Ravala Finati at the moment but Finati's trying to stretch him his face the front is still Finati and Antonelli 3.3 seconds clear Suzuki Bind. This is a good scrap actually because you've got the Steve Stegar 6 going to be priority number one, hasn't it? This is the scrap then for 10th place. It's so unusual commentating on our Moto 3 with the Anthony maybe. There is Suzuki mixing it up with Darren Binder, Jammer Matia in there as well. Let's get it on to village and then the loop and the entry. And it's no surprise that these guys are all being joined now by riders in the 18th, 19th, 20th, etc. You almost reach out and grab Romano Fnati's rear tyre. On this lap, they've just been closed by 10. Run of form since it's been 2017, three consecutive top six finishes. He's not managed that for four years, and at the moment he's on course to extend that. Stefano Benetta there, number 82, looking to try and make it a VOE Al Rides. Top 10 finish. Him and uh, Ricardo ball breaking, history breaking debut season. Dennis Fodger in the last couple of laps, by the way, has taken a second to Nati and Antonelli. He needs about another 10 wide touch. You can't believe it, can you, as well? For Nati and Antonelli, the lap times again, almost absolutely on point together. Wow, what a move that was from Tatai into turn. In the battle for third place, he's hunting for his first ever podium. Has he been sitting and waiting? He goes through. Ethan Guevara, the rookie then, is here then, back in third, he runs that real super tight defensive line, as you would on the last lap going through the loop, is that going to pay dividends, is Foggia down the hill going to Vale, no, Guevara's too sharp on the brakes of that gas gas, now it's all about picking the gas, as quick as he dares through Chapel Curve now, man demolition job, second flag, and Fanati wins again here at Silverstone from Nico Antonelli, and Foggia just hangs on to the podium ahead of the Brilliant history. That's win number 13, podium number 29, and our pole jinx finally. That's gone. Italian motor three podium since Buraram in 2018. We'll be led by this man, Romano Fanati, who's still in championship contention in 2021.